how are you? I'm Lady Lemon and uh, as I promised here's a little tutorial about how to make prosthetic masks for superheroes. Um, I mean prosthetics because they will take the shape of your face which will make them very comfortable and easy to wear. The materials we're gonna use are the following. Epiphone, uh, 3 millimeters or 5 or 1 whatever you have, uh, scissors, um, a pen, a candle, um, a metric uh, stripe, and of course you need uh, images so for references. I'm gonna make now a black cat mask. First you need to take a measurement uh, from here to your pupil, like this. Find the, the middle of the foam and count four because that was the measurement of my eye. Now you can, using this uh, reference image, draw it. Now we're gonna cut it using a scissor. You can use a cutter too. Now you fold it and cut it. Fold it again. Mark. Now we have our mask ready. We make sure it fits in our in our face. What we want is to make it uh, perfectly fit. So, if a foam is a thermoplastic material, it means you can uh, heat it up and it will take the shape of the object you put it on. In this case, I'm going to use a candle, so I don't have to go to the kitchen to do this because this is not my house. But, um, so, you put the foam over the fire like this. You can do this with a heat gun if you have one available. Once it's wobbly. You apply it to your face, make sure it's not burning, press it, and once it gets colder, it's gonna take the shape of your face. You're gonna heat up every every place in the mask so it can fit all the wall of your face. I'm gonna do that in my eyebrows. Careful not to not to burn it. You see, this is very cheap, fast, and looks really professional. You don't need to use latex or have a mold of your face to do this. Um, you can use even use tape to paste it to your face. The ideal glue is prosthetic glue, the one you use for um, fake uh, or for fake noses and, and scars and latex. But if you don't have that available at home, you just you can use tape. Okay, there you go. And once it's finished, the only thing left, if you don't, you can use just tape to paste it. But if you want to make sure that if you're very sweaty, it's, if it's summer and you know transpiration will make it fall, you can just simply put some stripes here and attach it to your face like this. Whatever you find convenient, you can put it down your wig and it's going to work perfectly. Um, in this case, I've used a really light Eva foam so you can see when I'm draw drawing, but you can do it on black foam directly or green or whatever the color you need. Or you can simply paint it using acrylic painting. You can use acrylic painting or you can use a spray paint, it's the same. Um, but I, re I really recommend acrylic painting. And I guess I'm, I'm gonna use this one for my next version of Black Cat. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be uploading more videos soon. Please subscribe, visit my page and if you can support my job, my work, I'll be very very happy to have you as a patron. This is Lady Lemon, bye to the next video.